Hello guys and welcome to the last match of the Pinnacle 3 for Group B. This is the final game we have for the group stages and tomorrow we're going to jump right into the um, playoffs which we're going to see who's going to bring home the uh, first place, um, you know, being the grand winner and whatnot and uh, second place, third place and fourth place will also be decided. Uh, as you can see throughout today, we saw Gar versus Colenso. Um, Colenso actually went 2-0 and then Gar managed to come back uh, with Three wins for Shaman. Unfortunately, he dropped the game to Masan. So now uh, he has to face against Sixo, which, uh, you know, Sixo kind of uh, got, well, just 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 lost to uh, Masan there. But very close series against Kalento means that he's still alive in the tournament. And this is the final match we are going to see. Um, before we go on, though, I want to give a big shout out to you guys who are watching. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, thanks for um, coming and supporting, well, uh, our events and uh, Hearthstone, com compared with Hearthstone in general, and yeah, I hope to see you again uh, tomorrow as well. Tomorrow's going to be playoffs, it's going to be exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, let's give a little shout out also to the contest that we've been running. What oh. was, yeah, so Amaz, what is the last card that we've, or the last spare part that we've seen in these games so far? I think it was Rusty Horn, right? I think we decided it was Rusty Horn that was the last one. Yeah, um, yeah, I believe it was Rusty Horn, but there's still a possibility that yep. there's another uh, spare part coming out because Gara still has a Mech Mage left. So if that yeah. Mech Mage is played this tournament or this series, we might have a new winner for the last spare part. But if it's That's not, right. then Rusty Horn will win. That's right. You guys can still join the giveaway right now if you reply to Twitter. Unfortunately, if you reply Rusty Horn right now, and uh, it is Rusty Horn, you, you're not eligible, obviously, because you know you kind of like jumped the gun, right? But yeah, um, let's not have no more delays. Let's jump right into the last uh, series of the um, of today. Six O versus Gar, as you can see right there. Um, those are the classes. I guess Gar is a shaman. It's the one that really stands out right now. And of course, over at Six O size, Six O's Face Hunter also stands out to be one of the most signature decks. The other ones are kind of like the filler decks, you know, rogues are always good, druids are always good, warriors, the control warrior, we always seen not much of a change there, and paladins, you know, it's kind of the same, more, more or less, you know, cog hammer is pretty good addition, and uh, finally, mech mage is mech mage. Yeah, I feel like the one deck we should focus on in this series is Sixo's paladin, because I feel like the paladin has like pr pretty good to uh, fair to pretty good matchups against everything that Gara has. Druid, yeah, pretty much 50-50, I guess. Mech Mage, uh, people could argue, but I think it's around 50-50. Versus Shaman, most people would argue that Paladin is favored. Versus Warrior, I think the majority of people would say Paladin is favored. Okay, well, uh, definitely some very cool uh, matchups here and there, but once again, Sixos Paladin, as Monk said, might be the star, so... Mm -hmm. oh, we'll see. Of course, they still have a crew, so if they actually line up the um, incorrect deck, they can always use that. Unfortunately, the person who uses the crew first usually is at a disadvantage because then you, uh, then your opponent can counterpick your deck. That whoa, that's pretty whoa. Great, six though. That's scary. Like, well, the <laughs> that is like oh hey, this is sun. I guess uh, we gamers do react pretty weird. It's like mm -hmm. oh, that's interesting. Never seen that before. Yeah. Um, also interesting to note is that, again, in the loser's bracket finals, we have a German player versus a German player. Yesterday we had Eka versus Faramir, today we had Sixo versus Gar. What that also means is that we're guaranteed at least two German players in the round of four. Not so, at least, right? Exactly. Exactly, yes. Exactly, exactly two, two Germans are going to move forward. Well, that's cool. Yeah. No, I mean, they, they, they did pretty good in qualifiers. I think we only invited two of them, and then two of them qualified. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Ekop was the qualified player that's uh, out. We do have to see him again sometime. Of course, um, Ekop always uh, <laughs> brings a lot of eyeballs to the table. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a nice way of putting it. Mm -hmm. um, so, wild growth in Gara's opening hand. I wonder if, what he's going to play on turn two. Mm -hmm. But hey, 6-0 is actually going to kill the Paladin, and Paladin against uh, Druid, I don't think it's that bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, it's like a lot about what whether uh, Druid does have the wild growth. As I've said before, I think Druid is kind of unfavored if it doesn't draw wild growth, but it is favored. It's like 40-60 in favor of the Paladin if he doesn't draw wild growth, but it's like 60-40 in favor of the Druid if he draws wild growth. Mm, tables have been flipped indeed. Mm -hmm. Gara uh, has a turn 4 play, very nice. Uh, Sixo actually skipped out on a turn 3 play, 
But uh, yeah, and turn four also looks like a shredder, so it's gonna be a shredder into a shredder. Mm -hmm. A bit weak to swipe, but hey, what can you do, right? Yeah, but hey, I mean, I think the swipe is actually better to burn your opponent Ella first, so mm -hmm. that your muster is becomes really really good, right? Oh, the only way of a, for a druid to deal with these one ones are is, is the swipe. Mm -hmm. Everything else kind of sucks. Turn five here. Seems like it's gonna be a Druid to Claw, right? In taunt mode? That seems pretty good. Well, I'm just gonna Wrath instead, okay. Just claim yeah. the board. If you Wrath, I guess you can fill out the rest of your curve with Piloted Shredder. Ooh, oh, that's one of the better ones. The 3 2 is just insane. Yeah, any 3 2 you're, um, you're glad to, um, to see. Or you're, ne you're unhappy to see. But okay, well, just a Keeper, yeah, automatically goes down on the board. What this means is that if Tyrion ever comes into play, Gaara better hope he draws a second Keeper. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, you know, I've been playing this matchup actually a lot, mm -hmm. and it feels like you want to use your keepers as early as possible because if your opponent drops Tyrion anyways, you're pretty screwed. If you silence it, it's like a six-six as well, right? So yeah. I don't. I, I feel like it's fine just burning the keeper for like early pressure if it can actually hit a three-two, like a knife mm -hmm. jumper or whatnot. Yeah, it's a lot of the same principles as uh, Sylvanas. If Sylvanas is a six-six or a six-mana creature that's five-five. And if you keeper it, like you're still kind of in a lot of trouble because a five five is still pretty hard to deal with as druid. Alright, uh, Gar's gonna get a ship's cannon. No pirates mm. in the druid deck, unfortunately. But hey, who knows? Maybe this shredder will pop a pirate, and the ship's cannon is actually gonna activate. Mm -hmm. How cool would that be? Oh d yeah, that works that way, right? If yeah, uh, the pirate shredder drops a pirate, then the ship's cannon yeah. will activate. That would be pretty cool to see. I don't think that's gonna happen though, because yeah. <laughs> like Six is probably not gonna kill the Shredder before killing these two threes. Mm -hmm. And like, how many pirates are there? There's the uh, there's the Blood Sail Raider. There's the uh, the four one. The four one. So that's only two pirates in a two mana slot. Yeah. I, 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 everything else is a different mana cost. Yeah. Mm. Everything is pretty awkward here. There's nothing that takes up exactly six mana. No, um, this takes exactly six mana. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Two threes. Uh, two three threes. So yeah, it it does take up six mana, but you're pretty much uh, making a ship's cannon follow the rules, which only reduces it by one health or one attack rather. Yeah, having a minion's attack is not as good as you hope. Ancient of Lore turn seven is always really good, mm. and uh, yeah, maybe Gar is gonna try and trade effectively, but the only trade that's effective is the you know, hit on the dude. These are not really that good. Oh, he's gonna do it anyways. Uh, no, no pirate. Sorry. Can, can you imagine much. Gar's face if Doomsayer came down? Came out of there. Uh, I think I think Gar's face would be a bit more overjoyed if Pirate came out of there. Mm. <laughs> to be honest, like Doomsayer, when you pop a Doomsayer, is actually not that bad either. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's that bad. It stops your opponents from playing stuff. Yeah. But obviously but, not that there. Yeah. You just kind of lose card advantage in this scenario because you're you're giving up this entire board where you have a five five and your opponent right. has a three three, right? Mm -hmm. Doctor Broom? Wait, the, uh, is, is this is like so close to lethal right now, actually. For for oh, for Gar, yeah. Yeah. Six, ten, twenty four. Yeah. It's pretty close. So what do you do here? You just innovate a you just innovate double fives? Just charge to the face. That's pretty Yolo. fair. Yeah, that's pretty fair actually. And again, I mean, we see that. Is so hard to clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We see that Karen in Gara's, uh, Gara's druid deck. Uh -huh. Was the Karen wasn't uh, the Karen that we saw before was also in the druid, right? Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Not sure if it's gonna get that much value here. I'm actually really curious to talk to Gara someday and ask him why do you have Karen instead of Piloted Shredder. Mm. Ooh, Gar's just gonna try and trade the borders. Well, I, I guess I the ship's cannon is gonna go into the three one no matter what, right? Yeah, the one damage isn't as relevant as the uh, the three one minion from his, your opponent's side of the board. Right. You'd rather have uh, do one less damage rather than give your opponent another tool to clear your board next turn. Mm -hmm. The claws can come down in, of course, charge mode. Does exactly that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, gonna put a lot of pressure for Tixo. He needs an equality most likely, or he needs a very some really good bounces. 
double quartermaster. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I I think six zero ran into this uh this problem in one of his previous games too, where he had double quartermaster but no uh, one ones on the board. Yeah, always a little bit of a problem. Mm-hmm. Jeez, I guess. Uh, okay, so do you consecrate first? Because if you do that, the bombs have better chance to hit better targets. Right, to actually kill stuff. It's true. Yeah. Um, you can also lay on hands and. Hmm. Cause the Doctor Boom hit the Sector Knight like so. Mm-hmm. And you can hope for the bombs to just clear off some stuff. Like that? Oh! Oh. It's not bad. Oh, Gar's gonna tilt his hat back. You know. Gonna go like, yeah, that happened. Mm. But that's actually like pretty probable, right? Hitting two on a minion. It's pretty probable. Uh, what is he... this bomb hit? Yeah, if he hits the Ancient of Lore, he can actually clear it with uh, True Silver. Mm hmm. Ooh, gonna do the YOLO or just gonna sort this off? Well, this is actually like non YOLO because he just clears everything, right? Okay, it's okay. the safest yeah, yeah. play possible. Okay, fine, fair enough. <laughs> All right, the Gara does have a way to deal with this board, and ooh, ooh innervate that is uh pretty scary. Innervate is actually very relevant because if he draws another Savage Roar, then he can do the super combo next turn. Super combo, indeed. No, oh, how about just Dr. Boom? Oh wow, just playing the shade here. That's actually a little risky because there's a boom bot on the field that you can't get rid of. That's right, because now Sixo can just stab the Ancient of Lord, use the boom bot, and oh wow, Lothab is actually pretty clutch as well. But no, I think you just uh, stab think... the Ancient of Lore, mm-hmm. hit the boom bot, and go like, oh, good job. Yeah, Gar just made the setup so easy for 6 0 to do. And oh, it's gonna go to the. F- oh, but four. That's a lot better than getting your shade killed. But now 6 0 can either Lotheb or Lay on Hands. I like this a bit better because it develops your board a bit more. Mm-hmm. And now with Lotheb on the board, Gar can't really do much. Kazan Mystic. It's not a Hunter or Mech Mage. Hmm. What do, what do you think about um, clearing that 1-1? One, one? I think that's right. You let that do yeah. double quartermaster. Yeah, that's true. Ooh! But then, wait a minute. This is... Oh, man. Um, If you if you, you BGH not, here, you, you, you pretty much... Yeah, you pretty much die. If you lay on hands here, you're dead too. Yeah, there's nothing that Sixu can draw off the lay, lay on hands. Is equality good? Two arms, men. No. No. Alright, so, well, Gar actually steals that game away for the, for the combo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it all came down to that Shade surviving the boom bots, actually. If it yeah, didn't survive, true. then, like, he wouldn't be able to clear off the Dr. Boom at all, and he would have just died the next turn. Mm-hmm. So, it came down to, I guess, kind of like a 50 50 in a sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hit the boom bot, I did it. More or less. So yeah, Gar's gonna take the first game over 6-0 in uh, the last match of the day. It's do or die. Ready to uh, bring your best deck forward. Yeah, what what does Gar even bring next to counter the, the Paladin deck? Like, cause I'm really curious, cause like all these, all his remaining decks, like none of them are regarded to Especially be extremely good. favorable. Yeah. Right. So nothing, I guess. I mean, if he if he lost the Paladin matchup with the Druid, I guess he might just ban it out. Mm. So now I guess uh six oh it's just feels pretty comfortable playing the uh face hunter. Wait. Wait okay. Wait. Yeah, wait, yeah. Huh? wait no. no no no. Gar Gar's druid is was eliminated. Wait, what? So, yeah. No. Gar Druid's druid was we just won the game. Oh yeah, yeah sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, Gar- right. but the six, X went six to was, a different spot. Yeah, six O's paladin was eliminated, yeah. Okay, so it was right, but Okay, we'll, 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 we'll try to fix that. Okay, but, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it'll fix themselves. I mean, the players aren't going to go like, you know, oh, I lost my Druid. Okay, let's just continue. Okay, no, that's not going to happen. So, um, yeah, here we go. It's going to be Druid versus Druid. Sixless Druid is still alive, guys. Just um, mm. category error on the, on, on the screen. But uh, we see the Stalag uh, Druid, right? So that's exciting. Mm. Probably it's not going to get kept, though. No, no, no. 
Th- Ooh, this that's is, a way better hand. Yeah, that's a great hand. Like this is also one of those matchups where you really want to wait to the last second to coup because you want to see if your opponent, how many cards your opponent has kept. Like, right. um, I think yeah, he, Scarra saw six zero kept at least some cards, and he sees his current hand is garbage. So he probably assumes his opponent's hand might have wild growth in it, and he probably doesn't want to take the risk that of that. Sure. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, this is right now, right? Uh, yeah, Gaara this is correct. Coup. We're mm-hmm. just missing the X on the uh, Gar's coup, and this is correct. So now Gar has to use his Druid to. Uh, well, I mean, Sixo has to use his Hunter or Rogue to face against the Druid, which is actually perfectly fine, right? I mean, Hunter versus Druid, perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. Not about even, that. even just using the face hunter. Yeah, right? that's that's fine. I think. Oh, I think all hunters just do well against druids. It's like natural, natural predator. Mm-hmm. The hunter is the predator of the druids. I mean, druids are like beasts, right? Oh. Like they can they can shift into beasts. So like hunters hunt beasts. That makes sense, right? That's pretty cute. You think Blizzard did that on purpose? I would say no. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> No, unfortunately, it's gonna be the uh, it's gonna be the rogue instead. It's gonna be the um, chop chop, you know, chop down the uh, trees. We also have to talk about this Kazan Mystic in uh, Gar's. Oh yeah, Druid but then the sixo know that Gar plays Kazan Mystic. He hasn't seen it yet, I believe. Like the yeah. last game, Gar drew it in his hand, but he never played it. Okay, well, Kazan Mystic is starting to see play again since uh, mm. you know Mech Mages and Hunters are a thing. Uh... Yeah, looking at this uh, hand, feels like Innovate Shade is uh, pretty OP. Yeah, pretty good, obviously. Oh, um, no. I mean, I guess you, if you do that, then you don't have a next turn play. Mm. I, I think he, he might be staring his, at his Dr. Boom in his hand right now. And Dr. Boom is a card that's so good against Rogue, so he's like, maybe I'll just like oh, turn for right. Dr. Boom. Oh, wow, you're right. It, that, that might happen. So Shade into Coin Innovate Dr. Boom. Mm-hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, that's gonna be so gross. That's gonna be so gross, especially against Sixo's own shade. Yep. These boom bots are just gonna snipe out the shade. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see what Sixo draws here. Not the best, so he's just gonna play more stuff. I- imagine if Gara also had a wall growth. He could have played turn three, Doctor Boom. Uh, yeah. Let's not imagine that. That's mm-hmm. disgusting. Hmm. No, Sixo actually reveals this right now. I mean, but both 3 threes, but one 3 three is just slightly better than the other 3 three. Come on, Gari, you can do it. <laughs> oh man, the prerequisite for playing Doctor Boom is to drag three cards. Uh, uh, you see it when the Druid gets seven mana, you know it's not gonna end well, right? There yeah. No other seven I mean, fine, like, ancient lore. Like previously, if uh, previously before Doctor Boom existed, if your opponent ramped up this much, you're like, oh, he played an Ancient of War. That's kind of acceptable, I guess. But in this scenario, it just feels so bad. It's not acceptable at all. Well, uh, a sap is gonna come down here. I guess a sap on a Doctor Boom that's innervated out is not as bad mm-hmm. as a sap on a Doctor Boom that's not. Okay. Yeah, you you kind of trade the innervate for the whoa, sap. So whoa, it's, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Sixo took the damage like a man. And well, he gets rewarded by nothing dying. Oh, does he? Well, Swipe into the play. Yeah, it goes into swipe range, and Sixo is, has a pretty dead hand right now. Oh, that's something. That's a glimmer of hope again. I just noticed that Gar is playing a lot of utility cards with the MC Tech and the Kazan Mystic. Yeah, MC Tech, Kazan Mystic. I believe, yeah, he also has Harrison Jones, right? D- no. D- no, that's no. another one. That's another okay. one. I, I, we There's... haven't seen it yet. Maybe it does. There's... There's just so many druid decks uh, we've seen today. They all get kind of confused up. Gotta keep track of those druids, man. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, this just... Oh. Yeah, hate to see that happen. Mm-hmm. So... Uh... <laughs> Attack face, re-dagger. Oh, my we've, God. We've... we've seen a lot of this today. Um, rogue hero power, druid hero power, warrior hero power. Just hero powering and pass. <sighs> That's what Dr. Booms does to you guys. Crushes your soul. Mm-hmm. You can actually see. It's, if, if, you, if you look back at the vault, guys, when uh, Dr. Boom is played, you can see a piece of uh, six old soul just evaporating in the air. Mm-hmm. So Evap- you're saying like Dr. Boom is the devil because he steals souls? Yeah, I mean, 777, seven, 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 not quite 666, mm-hmm. six, six, but mm-hmm. pretty close. One up. 
This, that was a pretty good draw, though. Violet Teacher, he's going to be able to use it with a sap, with a backstab. He gets two 1-1 one, one creatures. But unfortunately, Gara has that second swipe. <laughs> Man, Gara just has all the answers, seriously. Oh, how about that? Even better. You can swipe plus play something else. Yeah, swipe. Um, unfortunately, you can't use MC Tech. Um, and you're probably not going to get any more value out of MC Tech for the rest of the game. But swipe plus, like, Drew of the Claw seems good. Okay, he's going to... What's going to happen here? Oh! That's good. Good enough to innovate out, I believe. Yeah, I think with that play, Gar's reasoning is that he wants to wants to have more of a chance to draw into his um, cyber drawer because just, he just wants to end this game really quickly. Mm -hmm. Well, that's uh, okay. And cycles itself, not that one though. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's it. Gar gets the game. Yep. It's way too much damage right now. Yeah, seven damage in hand right now. Three on board. That's 10. That's 10. Don't think uh, we have any mislethals today, right? No. Um, don't, don't jinx it. Oh. Where shall I strike? Hmm. Oh. Um, Wait. Okay. I jinxed it, huh? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, well then! Uh, for, uh, uh, good, good thing for Gar, he's not going to get punished for this, but still, you never want to miss lethal. It's yeah. bad. You know, it's never good to miss lethal. That's fine. That. At least he's not going to lose the game off of it, I guess. All right. No, no, no. It's just like... Uh, I can ease your pain as well. Yeah. Fixel's just going to run it out, but he knows he can't win. There's no he way he can he can actually survive on board right now. Oh, well. No, no, you can't. Are you kidding me? No. All right. Well, there you go. Gar is up another game. Um, even missing lethal. Like, uh, I guess it's fine. Like, it's just mm -hmm. the board position is just so high up. With the... It's just... Dr. Boom, a turn four. Eh, that's just too insane. And now, Sixos Face Hunter. Well, okay. If a deck is going to come back in the game, it's going to be Sixos Face Hunter deck, right? Yeah, definitely. It's going to do so well against all of these decks. And 6-0 still has his, his crew left, so he can ban out the warrior. So once warrior is out of the picture, um, he can just sweep. So okay. I'm actually pretty excited to see this face hunter potentially sweep. All right, good game plan. Good game plan. That's uh, really all there is to it. So um, yeah, we're going to take this moment to, once again, thank G28.com and Twitch uh, for sponsoring this tournament, of course. Um, they have been, uh, they've been just helping out with every single pinnacle, guys. Like, that's insane, right? Just, uh, we just go to them for uh, asking us to help help us out, you know, sponsor the prize pools and whatnot, and they say yes every time. So, uh, big shout outs to those, and of course, uh, you guys for um, supporting and watching uh, the tournaments. I hope the, these games have been very enjoyable. I certainly enjoyed myself um, mm -hmm. today. I think it was much more exciting than uh, yesterday's games. Not to say that the yesterday games was really bad, but this, 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 the, the games that we had today were just insane. Yeah, of course. We get Face Hunter. How often do we get see? Do we get to see that, right? Yeah, Face Hunter, guys. We're happy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, wow. Keeper of the Grove, drawn for Gara. That is mm -hmm. one of the best cards right now. Yeah, it's not exactly Innervate Keeper of the Grove, but Wild, Wild Growth Grove Keeper of the Grove is still pretty good. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. Yeah. Not Keeper of the Grove, like we've said a lot about its weaknesses before. It can't really deal with Tyrion as well as uh, with regards to the body. And mm -hmm. it can't deal with Sylvanas very well because a 5-5 five, five trades so well into a 2-4. But this mm -hmm. body, a 2-4, is just perfect for dealing with Face Hunter minions. It just kills everything from the Face Hunter so cleanly. A 3-2, no problem. A 2-2, two, two, no problem. 3-1, no problem. 2-1, no problem. And not only that, the, bo the, the body that leaves behind after the ping does trade very, very efficiently, right? Mm -hmm. I, we see that 6 missed miss both daggers, that's kind of unlucky. And uh, yeah, just Keeper of the Ghost is just going to eat another minion, and a taunt is going to come out, so oh man, this is lo looking good for 6 so. Silence yeah. will have to come down here, that's the, really the only choice. 
I mean, the other choice was to sacrifice the math scientist and the lepernome on the bear so that, um, you know, the the explosive trap is there. But then he can't play any more minions, right? The taunt is just going to be in the way. So I think the silence is actually very justifiable. Mm. Yeah, the silence, um, you're going to have a, a few silences in your deck. and But the thing is, the druid only has a few taunts in your, his own deck. Usually with these types of druids, they don't play Ancients of War. They typically don't play more than one Sludge Belcher. So just this one Druid of the Claw is pretty much all you have to worry about. There's a very low chance he's going to draw a second Druid of the Claw in the same game. Right. Um, we said that Hell looks really, really good for Gar the opening, but still, like, look at that. Uh, Gar is actually down to 11 health. Mm. It's not really the best position to be in. Yeah, 11 health, and you can even Arcane Golem this turn, because eight. Um, the difference between 8 mana and 7 mana isn't that huge. There's not a lot that Druid can do with 8 mana that he can't do with 7 mana. Of course, he can play something like double piloted Shredder. Oh wow, just Leroy Jenkins. Sure, why not? Ooh! Savage Roar is going to do 8 damage. 6 plus 8 is not 24. So I guess the Lothab is going to come down here. Uh, does the Lothab hero part actually... Lothab hero part actually makes uh, Gar still alive. Mm. So if he Lothab hero powers, and actually... Um, well, can you keep the 1-1s? One I think he would love to keep the 1-1s, one but no, can't do that. So yeah, uh, Gar is still alive, and if he survives this turn, he might draw into Lethal. Mm -hmm. Sixto, on the other hand, uh, he might draw into another Arcane Golem or Wolf Rider, and that will end the game, but no, that is not it. The funny thing here is you kind of don't really want to use Arcane Golem because it gives your opponent 9 <laughs> mana. <laughs> 9, we know what happens at 9 mana with Druids, oh mm -hmm. god. So... Um, shoot and pass. I guess you can play the Skittles as well. Yeah, I think just Haunted Creeper and pass looks like an alright play. Uh -huh. So 9 plus 6, 15 damage for Gara. He needs 4 damage from something. Druid the Claw would do it. Swipe would do it. And... Oh. That... That's alright. Okay, so he heals up to 10 HP. Um, But... What? Is he still dead there? Arcane Golem plus Kill Command is 9, assuming that Gar doesn't kill this spider. Mm -hmm. So if he does that, he needs to kill the spider. Okay, that we see the heal. Be... Yeah, he needs to kill the spider. If he doesn't kill the spider, he's dead. That's so, yeah. not Whoa, he's actually going to go for it. Wow. Very nice. Yeah, correctly identifies that the... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Wait. Yes. Oh. Well, wow. three, that's five. It. Actually, well, yeah, that that's ten HP. Sir. That's uh, ten, 10 damage, HP. right there. Actually, the miss attack from the other spider killed him. So he was he was playing around Kilgaman, but he didn't play around or the hounds, and that cost him. If he killed the spider, it would have been fine. Yeah. That would not have been lethal, and he would have won with Savage Roar. Oh man, that was uh. I I don't want to say he hedged the bets right there. He just didn't follow through, right? Mm. When you swing a golf club and you didn't follow through, you just kind of trip and die, and that's what happened with Gara. So now yeah. Sixo is, uh, yeah, is one game. He, he, you know, he's basically on the board right now, but still a very bad position. You do not want to be in Sixo's position. You much rather prefer to be in Gara's position right now, right? Even if, even though Gara's uh, war is gonna get crewed most likely, like uh, we said. Uh, still quite hard to beat two matchups with face hunter. Yeah, and we have to remember that shamans or Gar's shaman deck runs two antique heal bots, so that could definitely come into play. But in the same respect, shaman Gar's shaman deck doesn't run many taunts, so I'm kind of unsure how that deck will do against Sixo. Well, actually, shaman uh, Gar's shaman runs uh, what two antique heal bots, right? Yeah. So even though I have no taunts, you have two anti kill bots, so you're effectively doing a 46 health if you survive the initial mm -hmm. uh, aggression. So I think the Shaman is actually pretty good. And he's actually going to kill with the Warrior, and yeah, like we said, so so much just uh, queue this up. I think it's like really like 90% chance it's going to get uh, queued, and there it is. Alright, good. So um, if we get to the Mech Mage, then we will have a pretty interesting uh, giveaway thing, so... But then I think Gar's just gonna play the Shaman. I, I just don't see how he's not gonna play the Shaman. Mm -hmm. Well, he has two chances, so whatever he feels like playing is uh, pretty much okay. Yeah. But hey, is it, is it, wait, one second. Is it really the, um, the Rusty Horn that was the last uh, spare part that was played? 
pretty sure it was. I saw in chat before, like no one really disputed it. Okay, okay. It was definitely okay. the last you last one played, but it might not have been the last one drawn. Oh. Okay, just, just it, it, guys, if the, if the game is just something fun for you guys, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Well, 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 effectively, we'll just choose uh, two, two random winners, but I, I guess we'll just um, really look out for it. But it's, yeah, it's going to be the genre like we predicted. And oh man, Haunted Creeper is so good against mm -hmm. that lineup. Yeah, it's so important. He yeah. doesn't run Zombie Chows in his deck, I believe. We haven't seen one at least. So the Haunted Creeper is like pretty much the best card in his deck that Gar could have drawn in his opening hand. Mm -hmm. uh, Hex is not. It's probably going to get uh, Mulligan there. Lothar, a bit too slow. Uh, Gar wants those uh, anti Akio balls and uh, probably. Oh, wow. That's, that's a hand. Yeah, decent hand from both players, actually. That's true. So it's gonna go with the Lepernome first, make it a bit more awkward if uh, Guard does indeed to choose the Earthshock uh, over uh, over the Skittles. But Skittles mm -hmm. it is. Oh, Unleash is a pretty strong card against uh, Shamans. Yep. Um, oh wow, Rockbiter and Earthshock are gonna come into play. Well, what is that? Um, well, wait, here's the thing, like, you you just want to kill off the uh, Lepernome, right? So I think, uh, I mean, not, not the Lepernome, the, uh, the, what's that face called? <laughs> God, the, the skill, that's, that's, so that okay. you get more 1-1s. One -one yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to say. Uh, so whatever play it is, you just want to kill it off ASAP. Yeah, unfortunately, like, uh, the Explosive Trap gets drawn. The natural enemy of 1-1 one -one tokens. Yeah. Also, the natural enemy is Unleash the Hounds. Unleash the Hounds, that's right. Uh, Sixo should be going all face here. Mm. That is the correct play. Very nice. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That's a card that can win the match. It can, but... Oh, okay. So there's a Taunt Totem. That's also good. It can, it can win the match, but Gara's turn four is just Totem. He got a good Totem, but it's still a Totem nonetheless. Mm-hmm. Such a weak play, and Agar is already at 21 HP. He could be at lower, but he could also be at a lot higher, higher HP against Face Hunter. Now, oh, get that dog out of my face. I'm just gonna use the rock better and kill it. Mm. All right. Oh, that's not what you want to see. No, 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 no. Natural Predator? Not really. It's a natural predator when it comes to mad scientists, but mm. draw it's not, it's certainly not as good. It's funny how that works, right? I mean, mm. people were playing traps before Mad Scientist was introduced, but now traps just seem so bad when you can just, you know, bring them up for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember oh. those days. Whoa. No, 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 no. No, let's not get greedy, right? Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Oh, let's get greedy. And that is going to be rewarded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think you can really play the anti kill bot here, actually. Because like even though you you have the potential to break up skittles, um, I'm calling it skittles right now. Um, even though you have the potential to break up skittles, like you still kind of get rid of the beast, and you still kind of want to develop a bit more. You eventually have to kill this uh, haunted creeper anyway, so might as well do it now. Wow! How about another antique heal by for Gara? Yeah, antique heal is insane. Yeah, especially. Especially if you draw two of them against Hunter, right? Mm-hmm. So let's see here. Uh, Gar has an option to use Fire Elemental or use the Dr. Boom here. I'm, yeah, just need something to have an instant effect. Oh! What is this? Six Soul is like the master of assassins. Mm -hmm. That just messed up every single play. The Wow, Gar's will just turn upside down there. Yeah, nothing that Gar can play will really impact the board that much. Like, maybe he even just plays piloted Sky Golem here. Oh my god. What? Oh, that is just so gross. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, bye-bye Dr. Boom. There's one way to deal with Dr. Boom. Man. Patient Assassin. What a card. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> just died. Uh. All right. Well, um, well, with this uh, 
six will follow up that with with uh, nothing. He doesn't want to give an opponent more mana to uh, work with. Um, well, Gar is still effectively like what twenty five HP, so it's not that bad. Uh, I don't even know if that's good or not. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or not. All right, well, Gar is just gonna swarm the board. Pick yeah, up I, more things. I guess he needs to win. Um within two turns. He's never going to do 30 damage in one turn, but uh -huh. this allows him to set up lethal in case he feels safe for one specific turn. Well, yeah, six soul, uh would probably... This is probably feeling like he's uh, pretty close to winning already, so he's going to use mm -hmm. the bull anyways, but man, this anti heal buff from Gar's hand is going to be really, really strong. Earthshock is really good here. That's a brutal doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, heal too. Important draw. Very nice. Oh, bomb snipes as well. Let me proc the explosive now. So you yeah, probably have to race a little bit here. Uh, take care about number two. It's gonna help out. And uh, yeah, Sixo needs uh, some some. Oh, what a man! Guys, guys, totems, man. Eh? Mm -hmm. The master of taunt totems. Yeah, I believe he's gotten like five taunt totems today already. That's, just that's two in this game and three in some uh, a previous game. And yep, pop goes the explosive again. What is Scar gonna get? Oh, just a just a screw junk clanker. Yeah, probably one of the worst ones he could have gotten. All you really care about is the attack and not the. Actually, do you? Is, is it really that bad? It's a mech. He gets buffed up. Oh yeah, good point. Wait, is this so dead? Oh! Uh, oh! Wait. No. Wait, so. Ouch! I think Sixo is. Wait, 6 plus. No, so 11, 11 plus 5. So he mm. has to clear. He yeah, has he to actually. Clear. He actually has to kill the anti kill bot. I feel Ooh. so bad. But anti kill bot is a mecha. So oh, that's it. That's GG, right? Mm. Yeah, definitely. That's it. Wow. You, you, you underestimated the Screwjack Clunker, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Wow, it just got buffed up by the Pyre Maze, and it's gonna do that extra damage that Gar needed to end the game. Sixo is gonna drop off, and Gar is going to advance the playoffs. I did not see that coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gar proving that he's the better German of the two, I guess. And he advances to the top four. Oh, Gar's Shaman That's has top... been uh, pretty impressive, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think Sixo played uh, pretty well too in this tournament. Been face hunter, but uh, it's not gonna match up to two anti kill bots. And uh, if we look at the brackets one last time for the day, uh, here. So yeah, uh, as we can see, Guard just advanced to the loser's bracket. So keep in mind, guys, in um, this tournament, if you advance to the playoffs with the loser's bracket, you stay in the loser's bracket. So you can still only drop only... Uh, we can't drop any more games if you want to advance um, as far as you can. Masa, on the other hand, can drop one more game and still be in the tournament. And of course, um, on the uh, Group A, if do we have the image maybe? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. So, Coop A, once again, just for a refresher for people who missed it, Dog was actually the winner for, uh, in, in um, yesterday's uh, matches, and Farmir was the loser's bracket. So, we're going to see Dog versus Masan uh, tomorrow for the winner's bracket, and the loser's bracket will feature Gar versus Farmir. You don't want to miss the conclusion of Pinnacle 3, so uh, I want to see you guys uh, there tomorrow. Oh, well, one last no. thing before we go. Um, apparently, the chat says it was actually uh, emergency coolant. That was um, the um, the play. So the uh, winners for the giveaway are E Luanin Ha. E Luanin Ha. I hope I'm actually reading that correctly. <laughs> you correctly predicted um, emergency coolant. So congratulations. And the second random winner that predicted it correctly was Cano underscore L E. Cano underscore L E. Congratulations to uh, both of you guys. You guys will be uh, winning with the 35 euro um, gift card as well. Don't worry, guys. If you missed out, there's going to be four more of these giveaways uh, tomorrow. So uh, you want to see the conclusion. You want to win more giveaways. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's really it. Um, that's it for our here for today. Do you have any closing words, Monk? No, but uh, not right now. But I think Dog versus Masan, not really who you really typically expect in the winner's bracket. So I'm really excited to see what tomorrow's games will be. Will we see? We won't see more Face Hunter, but and we won't see any more uh, Demon Lock. But I'm sure they'll bring Druid and Rogue. Always interesting decks to watch. 
That's great. Uh, wow, today was actually a blast. Uh, all, all, all the games were very exciting. Going to give a shout out to um, the admin and the production, of course, Simpatico and Backspace. Thank you so much. And of course, from me and Monk, uh, thanks for watching Pinnacle 3. We'll be hosting uh, a channel soon, I guess, just to keep you guys looking, watching something else. So uh, yeah, uh, I guess we'll uh, host Kibler here. So yeah, if you want more Hearthstone, then you can stick around. You can go to Kibler's channel. You can go to another channel. Whatever and uh, yeah, before uh, until next time, guys. Uh, take care.